Well, hello there, everybody. I'm gonna try something new. There are things that I wanna talk about. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to do a proper video. So I'm going to talk while you guys enjoy the view of one of my drives with my horses. So today's topic is gonna to be, what is it that you actually need to do to get your farm ready for the springtime? First and foremost, we have spring cleaning. This is kind of like the barn edition, not your home, but I'm sure the house needs work too, because if you're like me, chances are you don't do house things. It's all about the farm. But farm spring cleaning for me entails pressure washing everything, getting out the broom, getting out a vacuum cleaner, get all those cobwebs out, get all the dust out, anything that you think is gonna catch fire or stank when the weather warms up, clean it. Um, if you're like us in a cold region where you have a deep winter pack, shovel it all out, get it out there in your manure pile. Clean barn's a happy barn for both you and your animals. It doesn't stank, so muck it out, get ready for the summer months. With warm weather comes shedding season. Doesn't matter what kind of livestock you have, they're gonna be blowing out that winter coat. So help them along, they love it. There's a million and one products on the market um, for you to choose from to help them shed out. If you are got working horses on your farm or any working animal for that matter, chances are they're gonna overheat in that winter coat if you're asking them to do a lot. So give them a good solid bath, get all that dirt out of there, then dry them all off, then you're ready to clip them. Things can be cold, you just took away their insulation, so if you do clip a horse, make sure you put a blanket on them, especially minis. Minis shed slowly on purpose. Small size equals very hard to regulate temperatures. Number three, we got your pastures. Oh my gosh, spring grass. How much of us are sick of feeding hay? Do not turn your animals out on spring grass. Just don't do it. Here's why. They've been out on it all winter. Spring equals mud. Green grass equals high sugar content and high sugar contents is gonna give your animals problems. If you got horses, laminitis. If you got sheep and goats, you're gonna get scours. So don't put your animals on grass. Now is the time to bring them in, bring them into your sacrifice paddocks, bring them into your mud paddocks, cordon off your nice green pastures. What I like to personally do, let my pastures go to seed if possible. Mother Nature is willing to reseed your pastures for you. You don't have to spend money on it. So if you can wait until the grass goes to seed and then turn them out, not only are the sugar content gonna be lower, Mother Nature is gonna reseed your pasture for you. I'm strange. I have this track system that goes all the way around our field so the horses can get exercise. I can feed them all they want while the center rests. My feeding season, I still get my six months a year on grass, but it's different than most. So I usually feed June, July, August take them off and then I put them back on again around December, January, March and right about now it's April, take them off again. So I get my six months but I get it weird. So I get late summers when the grass is healthy and easy to go, then I let the grass grow back up again in the fall and I turn them back out in the winter months when the ground is hard and taller grass in the winter months equals standing hay. So believe it or not I don't have to feed hay too much in the winters, but I'm feeding spring and fall. I'm not this person, but you probably are. I kill anything that involves plant life. I just cannot keep plants alive. I'm much better with animals, but growing season, just because I kill plants doesn't mean I don't try. All winter long, I've been cultivating manure, manure pile. I've been rotating it. I've been turning it into compost. Mix that with some sand and some dirt that we have on the farm to make a good potting soil. Believe it or not, I have a weird thing with turtles on our farm. Turtles like to dig up my garden, so I have to put everything in containers. All of that goes into my container gardens, and that is what I use to put in my vegetable garden. But now is the time of year to start thinking, till the beds, get your mulch in there, you know, get them all ready, put in your compost, get them ready for planting season. There isn't a farm out there that doesn't have chickens. If you are one of those farms that doesn't have chickens, I don't know how you managed. Go to Tractor Supply, just listen for the peeps. Springtime equals peep time. Springtime also means babies for every species on the planet, also your predators. So your fox have got kits, your coyotes have kits, your skunks, your everything is breeding this time of year and they're all having babies and babies equals hungry mom. 
Hungry mom equals want fast food. So your Kentucky Fried Chicken that's out free ranging and bring her back into the coop. Let them hang out until baby season over. Usually around June is when everybody's, you know, is grown up enough where they're going to stop bothering your chickens. Time to put away the snow blowers, the plows, and all that kind of gear. All the stuff that you're going to need for planting season or mowing season or anything, that's going to need a tune-up. So, you know, now's the time to sharpen your blades, do your oil changes, you know, make sure you refresh your gas, whatever you need to do to get everything going. Get the lubricant out, lube every part that you possibly can. Chances are things got a little rusty in the winter months. Lube and tune up all of your farm equipment. And last but not least, this is the one I am terrible at, but what are your goals? We're coming into planting season. We're coming into livestock purchasing season. We're coming into breeding season, thinking about the fall, thinking about next year, depending on what you're breeding. Big time to start thinking about your breeding season. Big time to think about what you're gonna put in your garden. Big time to look at your business plan. I know you're a hobby farm, but you should be tracking expenses. Just on the off chance that this becomes a full-time thing or a profit thing for you guys, you can go back three years in your expenses and claim those. So keep track of what's going on. Plan, put it on the paper. Come up with your business plan. This is what I'm growing. This is why I'm growing it. This is just for me. Maybe I'm gonna put on a farm stand. Maybe I'm gonna try to sell at farmer's markets. For us, we are a breeding farm. As I said, I can't keep plants alive to save my life, but I am very good at breeding goats and selling them, breeding horses and selling them. So that is my profit base. What's yours? I'm curious. By all means, comment below. Let me know what it is your plans are for this season. All right, that about wraps up our drive. Thank you guys for listening and we'll see you on the next one.